this is Excel 2003. We've opened Excel 2003 and this is book one. This is your title bar going straight across here and you'll see here that we have minimize, restore down, close. And this is how you would exit or restore down or minimize this particular workbook. If you put the mouse over the X on the left hand side, hold the mouse down and you'll see the same thing, restore, minimize, close. So you have two ways of exiting the workbook. Now this is your menu toolbar and it's called menu because it's made of words. As you can see, we go to each one. Um, Adobe, Adobe PDF is not included. That's because I have the software installed on this computer. However, this next toolbar is your standard toolbar. And you will notice here that we have these little balloons that come up, new, open, save, permission, email, print preview, print, spelling, research. These three you can never live without, cut, copy, paste, and format. Undo, redo, hyperlink, autosum. And you will notice that under autosum there is not only more functions, but there are even more functions underneath this. You'll see this ellipse, the three dots. This tells you that there's even more underneath there. This is sorting and ascending, A through Z, sorting and descending, Z through A, chart wizard, drawing, and the most important, your zoom tool. This little button lets you call for help. And right here on the end, you can show all the buttons on one row. If I click there, or you can show the buttons in two rows, or you can even add or remove buttons on either formatting or here on your standard toolbar. This is your standard toolbar. Arial is your default font. The size is 10, bold, italic, underline, left align, center, right align, merge and center, a very important function you're going to use a lot of. An accounting dollar sign, percent, comma style, increase decimal, decrease decimal, decrease indent, increase indent, borders with a drop down menu, and you'll notice it has little little dots there. You can turn this into a floating palette. And you will notice that you can actually, if you put the mouse right here, you'll notice that it turns into a four-headed arrow. So whenever you see those, we have here, there's one on the fill. It means when you see that four-headed black arrow, it's going to allow you to move and drag the uh, uh, toolbar and turn it into a floating palette. And again, you can add and remove buttons there, and you can customize it there. And this is the same thing for the font color. So these, are, these can be turned into floating palettes at any time. And again, you can add and remove customize uh, buttons there. For instance, if you wanted to add um, increased font size, click right there and if you remove click right on top of the check mark it's gone 
Now, here we have the name box or the name range. Here we have the function, insert function right there. And you're going to need these all the time. They have to be there because these are what help you guide around the worksheet. In the worksheet right now, we have a default of three sheets. And they are sheet one, sheet two, and sheet three. These are generic terms because the sheets currently have no names whatsoever. Therefore, they are nameless until we give them a name. If you want to add sheets, simply put the mouse in between the two E's and right click with the mouse. And as you can see here, you can insert, delete, rename, move, or copy or select all the sheets, or even change the tab color. I went with a bright green there. And you see a little bit of it right there. But then when you click on the next sheet, you see, aha, now sheet one is green. Here, we can insert a sheet. And as you see, this is selected here click OK, and now this is sheet 4. We can also rename the sheet. Now you're only allowed 255 characters, so don't go crazy with the names. Make sure that they're basically think of the names as though you're naming a license plate. Short. Try to stick to under 8 to 12 characters, including the space. You know, you'll get, you'll get good at it later on. And then if I wanted to, I want to click out, so I'm going to click on the sheet itself, and then I'm going to right-click again and simply delete. So this is the beginning of Excel 2003. And I'll see you on the next video.